Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. The issue if you are only attracting ugly women. And I'm gonna tell you what, even though I use that in the title, it could be any type of woman that you don't really consider optimal for you. you it could be why you only attracting um, you know, uh, ratchet women, or why you only attracting women who are overweight. It could be why you are attracting women with like stank ass attitudes. Whatever the case, the issue is not the women. The issue is what are you broadcasting to these women? Because if you deal with 20 bad women, the only thing they had in common was you. That's why on this channel, I focus more on masculine self-development than going in on women. Because if you constantly dealing with bad women, okay, what is it about you that keeps attracting them? And I've told women that. I've told women, I've told women that. I say, you keep attracting dogs. What is it about you that's uh, calling for these dogs? When women get a certain type of man, it's something within them that's getting the woman. It never fails. So if a man is getting a certain type of woman, what is it within him? Now, I know, like I said, it could, I use, just use that title because, you know, I'd say, it, you know, guys can understand that. Because I get a lot of guys who will hit me up and they say, well, I'm attracting these women, but they're not the baddies I want. They're not that. Okay. What is it about you that's attracting them? What is it about you that thinks that uh, says to the woman on a subliminal basis, and when I say subliminal, body language, how you act, behave, and everything, how you carry yourself, that you will be receptive to them. What is it within you? Because especially as a man, you okay, these women bad, but you having sex with them. What is it? They, did she hold a gun to your head? Did she say, hey, you, hey, you know, or force you? Did she pay you? Oh, let's say she did pay you, because you do got some low-key gigolos out there, you know? The women might buy them something. You're always getting these women who buying you stuff, but you don't like it. Okay, what are you doing to be receptive to them? How are you behaving? Where are you going? What type of bait are you using? How do you talk to them? What are you giving off? See, the place, if you got some issue attracting, and it's more than just saying, Oh, well, you know, they're the only ones who like. Okay, why they the only ones who like you? These women are bad, but they're only dealing with you. Because sometimes that attraction ain't always a good thing. Like you get some guys, they say, oh, these uh, gold diggers keep coming for me. Okay, what is it about you that says to them you would pay money for them? Like I've known some guys, I've known some guys, so probably with some guys, they, were, they always seem to find these women who um, they got to pay for I'm thinking, okay, what is it about you that let, that tells these women you would pay for them? Because I don't run into those women. But see, the energy I give off is I ain't a trick. Because I noticed that women don't be hitting me up for money. That's one thing I've noticed. In fact, women have, I've noticed I've gotten rejected because they didn't think I had money, which is good with me. Always good. I give off that impression. But here's the thing. Because of that, the women that I did attract, I do attract. Um, in the past, now, they don't hit me up first for that. They don't even bring it up. I'll bring it up before they bring it up. You know, in fact, many have, they've talked with me for a long time. They have no idea what I do for a living. But that, I'm not giving off that energy. You know, you always have to ask yourself, what are you giving off? And here's a good way to understand it. Actually have a conversation with the women that you're dealing with and listen to what they say. Oh, get back to that conversation piece. That's, hey, comes, you, you need to talk with the women and know where they at. What are they talking about? Like if you meet some women and they constantly saying, hey, like they're, they're physically attractive and everything, but they constantly say, hey, we gotta go here for them. We gotta go here. And you keep getting it. You're like, hmm. Or you meet some women and you know, They'll talk with you. They want to go out with you. But then they always seem to need something fixed around their house and you're very good at doing that. 
hmm, what they want you for? Seriously, because you can always get an idea because women, they can't hide it that well. You know, they always going one way or the other day, you going to find out their agenda. All you have to do is listen. So it, the thing is, if you only attract in a certain type, you don't like that type, then you got to change what's within you that's attracting that type. You know, you got to change what's within you. And see, that's the important thing. See, that's what a lot of uh, men don't get. See, one issue is a lot of men want to blame the women, but you haven't dealt with all four billion women in the world. So you can't say all women. Even if you find a group or a YouTube channel where all the guys in the comments saying, well, we dealt with this, that's still only a drop in the bucket. When we talking like billions of women. And even then they have to say, well, we all seen the same thing. What is it? It's us. Cause then when you see, when you deal with the issue within, you can, you got told, you got hundred percent control how to change that. You can change that. Like, let me use the uh, trick example again. What do I always say? Don't lead with your wallet. Don't try to impress a woman with what you do for a living. Like I said, <laughs> usually when I meet somebody, for like years, especially since being online, I might, phew, except for one here and there that found out on their own one way or the other, I don't, I don't, that's not the first thing I tell them. You know, if we get in that conversation, it's usually like fourth or fifth conversation when it might come up. You know, I present something else. See, uh, what are you presenting? What are you broadcasting? And indeed, let's get back to that basic thing because uh, of talking about attracting ugly women. A lot of guys will say that. It's like, well, dude, maybe you need to fix yourself up. You know? And not just on a physical basis, but a mindset. You know, because when, one, when a woman's looking at a man, yeah, she's looking at that physicality. But then when you're talking about that conversation, when she's talking with you, she's trying to get an idea what's going on in your mind. And see, whatever's going on in your, in your mind is going to broadcast in how you walk, how you carry yourself and everything. Very important. Very, very important. Like I said, that's why on this channel, I focus more on the development of man. Because once you change yourself, that's where your power is. Then, because let me tell you how powerful that is. Because I've done it before in my life, just... And really as an experiment way back in the day, I said, okay, I want this type of woman. So I just changed, all I did was just change up some stuff, just settle. All of a sudden I was like, oh wow, I'm getting those type of women. Okay, I'm looking for this type of woman now. Okay, start changing up, boom. And then, you know, some of the type of women that might've paid attention to me at one year in my life, five years later, because of growth and everything, they ain't giving me the time of day. And what did I change? The women didn't change, they still did. In fact, if you change yourself, if you change yourself, deal with a man in the mirror, you'll find even the types of women that you even meet and be around, that'll be in your circle, in your orbit, they're gonna change up to reflect what's going on up here in your mind. Boom. That's, hey, that's the power, yo. So really think about that. The issue is that the only thing, a bunch of bad women, regardless of what, what you consider bad uh, would have, if they're dealing with you, is you. You know? Now, you can, you can be one of those people who want to blame the women, but the women ain't going to change. And you have no power. No matter what you do, they're not going to change. Because let's, be let's be real on something. Let's be real. Let me go. I wanted to like, get this out before I finish. You got all these channels telling women to change. All these channels complaining, saying y'all doing this and that. I haven't noticed a change in the women. I haven't noticed one change. You know? You might have some, uh, one or two here and there, some individuals or something, but overall, they're not changing. But if the men change, the women are changing on their own. That's where the power is. So you change, they gotta change in response to who you are. Not asking them to change, but changing yourself and just letting them know, oh, this is what you got to do to deal with me. And you will even attract different women. 
Even women want to just be friends, well, that'll be changed too. But the power is within you. All right. So that's all I have for now. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.